You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. From the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's X Factor After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's X Factor After Show. All right, that sound can only mean one thing, and that is welcome to the X Factor After Show here on AfterBuzz TV. This is season three, episode twenty-three. I'm your host, wow. JC. I know we've made it this far. My word. Hey, I'm Jeffrey Masters, and across the table, you first. Hey, I'm Jason Eichler, and it's Nick Collins. But before we go any further, we have a special guest on the couch tonight. He has been reporting live all season for us from Front Row Features and yeah. Pacific Rim Video. Chris Tronson, how are you, man? I'm good, man. We just uh, I just came straight from the studio to come here, so thank you so much for having yeah. me. Yeah, he like flew into the studio. We're like, <laughs> throw him on the couch. We're going live in five. Go. Yeah. And of course. And here you are. Thank you for coming, man. Oh, thank you so much for having me tonight. Yeah, so tonight's going to be a great show because you're going to have that insider perspective. You've talked to the contestants all season. Yeah. And we, as you know, we're an opinionated bunch. I know. I, I've seen the show, <laughs> so I'm like scared. I'm like, what if they what want? What if the bitches. contestants watch it and then they tell me next week, hey, they're mean? <laughs> no, but here's the thing. I think you can right the wrongs because you're there. You hear the difference. You can, you might be able to school us because. We're kind of tough nuts to crack. I can't I believe I said nuts and crack in the same sentence. <laughs> uh, I gotta say hello to a very special man running the ones and twos, Stephen Lemieux. Put your hands together for Stephen Lemieux. You've done Slow an clap. awesome season. Yeah, golf clap. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> All right. So, thoughts overall on the episode? Likes this? What stood out? Carlito. Yeah. Really? I. I've never thought he's the strongest vocalist, and I thought t tonight I was literally like, I did not think he had that in him. I thought, I was shocked that he made it this far, but I think tonight he proved that he deserved to be there. I agree. I thought he would have been a shoe in to leave this week, but I was like, okay, he put up a fight, and it, I was very impressed. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was a shoe in to leave for a while, but um, he, <laughs> oh. he I, I think he he came through. That like he, like, you can tell that he wants to be there. He really stepped up his game. He had he sang great tonight, except for maybe the last song, but. He he did his best. He did his best. Okay. This is his best tonight. All right, Megatron of the red carpet. What's he really like? He's so I've actually known him for a couple years. He's a really really nice guy, and I oh, think really? people like to attack him because he's the weakest vocalist in the competition. So it's kind of it, it's easy to to pick him apart. But he's really nice, and I think that that's why people um, you know they keep telling him like be more sexy and be this. He's so like normal and humble. So for him, it's like I'm not comfortable just ripping off my clothes and grinding and stuff. But he knows he's not the strongest vocalist, but. I mean, what should he do? Just drop out of the competition because he's not the best? I mean, I think so he brought it tonight. Is that hard yeah. for him? Because it seems like, so what you're saying, he's kind of going against the, his grain of his own character because he's like a quiet, soft-spoken guy, and they're turning him into the sex pot Marcus Canty from season one. Yes, I, I, exactly. And I think that when people see him, I mean, he's a good-looking guy, and he kind of, you know, he has a little edge to him. But if you meet him and if you see him every week in the press room, I mean, you saw him last week, he's just really just like a chill, funny, normal guy. So I think people, um, you know, expect him to be something, and he's not really that. And he's trying to find who he is and stuff, but I think I agree with you guys all tonight. I think he really knew that he had to bring it tonight if he wanted to make it to the finale. And I don't know what he ate or what him and Paulina did, but he really <laughs> brought it tonight compared to guess. every season. I feel like the way they <laughs> package him, though, because he's like boxing in every scene, yeah, and like exactly. running and really tough, that they don't show that he's like a nice, down to earth guy. I would rather you know? see that, you know. But yeah. I mean, I think when he does turn on the sex. That's when I like buy it the most. I'm like, oh yeah, you thrust your hips like that, Carlito. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think as a lot of people see him and they expect because of how he looks that he's supposed to be this and that, and I think he's still trying to figure it out. But he's just kind of like I mean, he was in Menudo, he was chill, right. like you know, yeah. I I don't know. That but happens here with cool. Jeff. Jeff, yeah, he's kind of like our raging sex pot of <laughs> yeah. buzz, and it happens. Yeah, but I mean, I'm getting more comfortable with that. <laughs> um, I think also though he's Latin, and kind of like the Latin heartthrob thing goes yeah. hand in hand, as we see with you know other co hosts here. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> 
Okay, can I get the dirt? We had a discussion early on, um, a couple weeks going in, about um, one of my favorite contestants, Rachel Potter, yeah. being perhaps a little like disingenuous with her. Uh, what did you think of her as a person? Uh, I, I liked her. What, what did What did you think? You thought we didn't know if it was or... fake or not. We couldn't decide. Um, she. Way to go for the jugular. Jugular. I know. I'm like, great. I'm like, hopefully she doesn't see this because I talk to her every week. Uh, No, I don't. I don't think it was fake. I think. um, I think one thing. You know, I've I've become friends with not only this season contestants but last season contestants. And when I talk to them, I won't mention their names, but after it's kind of like the producers kind of decide like this is the kind of person you're going to be, and this is what your packages are going to be. And Mm -hmm. so I think that she was nice, but yeah, I mean, I think they definitely played up like you're going to be like this country and this like Mm -hmm. innocent girl next door. And I mean, I think she's a 29 year old bartender who likes that fun and so I think they really wanted to push her as something and I you know I've heard through the grapevine that if you kind of fight that they don't like it no so oh, they give everybody like a part to play and you've got to play it yeah and, and I don't know if you I mean they do that for every show like this they sure kinda, yeah. they kind of figure out like okay this is how we think we'll best market you and this is what we're gonna push but she was a nice person she never gave attitude and stuff I mean I think this season you know Last season, I won't mention any names, but there's a couple people out, you know, kind of drove people some crazy. But this season, there everybody that works on the show is kind of like they're they're nice people. If you fight the package, do they try to sabotage you? <laughs> don't fight this is my like package. package. <laughs> <laughs> don't fight. Don't fight my pa- don't package. package. It's, you D know package. what? It, it is like that on on reality shows. If you sure. fight the producers, if you fight the music, if you fight what they want, they kind of decide. You know what? You're a little too difficult to work with, and. I gotta say, you know, thank you for. I think a lot of viewers and listeners are going to appreciate that. So yeah. we're kind of removing the veil, and we're six minutes in, and we haven't even talked about what happened last week. Yeah. Like a quick little recap of the ouster of. Uh oh, not happy. <laughs> Me Ilona Santiago. What the hell? As <laughs> can I? I'm gonna swear, but it's quoting Demi Lovato. Yeah. What the fuck? She should have won. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she tweeted, and that's how I feel, too. <laughs> hey, it's what we said all along. She was wonderful and talented and forgettable. Wait, wait, and she should have figure won? out why. I that think she should have won. girl, though. Of course she's going to say something yeah, like but, that. Yeah, uh, but I don't think she should have won. I don't think she should have won. Okay, more importantly, we are watching. We, we're we not cool enough to go see the live shows, but these two are. So <laughs> what was it like listening to her? Was there something we didn't connect on screen? What was she like on, a, let's say, a live performance? Because didn't you go last week as well? I didn't see the live performances, but... I think she stepped it up, and I think in these competitions you need to show growth and maybe not start out amazing, but then work your way up, and that's what gets people voting. And I thought she did that, and I thought she showed more personality with her sister and then the baby, like that stuff that gets America voting. So I was shocked. Me too. I think Lily McLeod started off on a really high note, and you know, it's hard to stay that high, especially when you're kind of like an odd duck in the competition. But I think also the the age group that watches the show, Lily's not really fits no. into it. I think mm-hmm. she would have done amazing maybe on The Voice or something. But I think like yeah. for X Factor, you know, the kids that tweet me and stuff are like twelve. So I don't yeah. think yeah. that they were gonna go out and and root for. I completely Lily. agree. I agree. That. Completely. Right, right. Well, so so we had the ouster of Ilona, which and was not fair. I agree with you. Yeah, with Ilona, wasn't. but you know about Ryan Page, Ryan my and girl. Yes. Oh, my girl, oh my Ryan. God. Well, what? okay, That's I will allowed. say, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's mean. I think. Ryan is great. I don't think she's the strongest vocalist. I wish it would have been Alona versus Carlito in the battle round because Alona would still be here. Um, I thought Ryan, her time has come to an end. She's a sweet girl. I I don't think she was ever going to win. I'm still a fan of hers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, me too, but that doesn't mean she should win. Yeah, she's like a nice girl. but, but. There's only one, one winner, Jeff. We've said this <laughs> week in and week out what we think is... The X Factor, what the show's about. I want to throw the question to you. What do you think makes, because we have Idol, we have The Voice, and you, we see Idol be that singer-songwriter type of con- uh, contest. Is the X Factor different? What, what does it take to win the X Factor, in your opinion? Well, I think the thing that, and the reason I thought Alona did so well last week is I think with the, the difference with X Factor, it's the only music show where it's like you're going to have dancers, you're going to have staging, you're going to have choreography, you're going to have everything. You literally have to put on a performance where, you know, American Idol, they don't have that, they don't have the voice. So I think to, to win the X Factor, you literally be able, it, it's almost like if we threw you next month onto an award show, you better perform. And I think that's what Alex and Sarah did last week. Mm-hmm. It literally, they said it looked like a performance out of an award show. And I think that's what's different about X Factor. You can't just go up there and be a good singer. You literally have to be ready for the big leagues. And that, that's why I think Alona, especially with that Lady Gaga piece, it was like, I could see that on the AMAs. And I could mm-hmm. see, mm-hmm. you know, Alex and Sierra last week on the AMAs with that performance. So I think that's what makes it different where X Factor, you could, I mean, American Idol, you could just stand there and sing great and it doesn't 
Like yeah. a car well, Simon would call it a karaoke <laughs> contest. Yeah. yeah, that's what he says. So, well, that brings us up to day two. What? Let's talk about more so tonight. Great. Three rounds, America's Choice, the battle rounds, and what was it? The, did they get to pick the song, or did the mentors pick the song? Did they come together on that third song? I think they picked it. Well, I Simon said he picked the Cerebrella song. Yeah. Must okay, so maybe, they, maybe it was whoever. I have no idea. Whoever had the best idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so well, let's do... A compromise. Yeah. Well, let's, th let's get into it. Let's get into, I guess, Carlito. Mm. And we kind of already glossed over it. Yeah. That we were pretty much... His first two songs, I absolutely loved. I, yeah. I thought it was... What? I thought oh, this yeah, yeah, yeah. was... Yeah, this good. is yeah. such a good song choice for him because, as we said, he's not the strongest vocalist, but he can perform well. Yeah. yeah. And so good to be rapping on the verses. And then when he went to sing, I was actually shocked because I think that's the first time he's hit all the notes. For what, for a boyfriend? For boyfriend. Yeah. No, I mean, there was a couple issues, yeah. but overall this was his best performance. I don't like when he dances without choreography. I think that's when you it gets a little awkward. You mean his jazzercise so there's like <laughs> yeah, elbows like up? a little like squat, but when he has the <laughs> dancers behind him, he can dance really well, but when he's alone, it gets a little awkward. I agree. The first two songs were, I think, were definitely his best performance yeah. of the entire season. I'm not gonna lie, though. I think "Boyfriend" was a very, very safe song. It doesn't. Uh, not, I'm sorry. It does not take a whole lot of talent to sing that song. Uh, not I, saying that he's bad, but but <laughs> he, and he, he, he did. Feels like he has to defend and, and himself. He, he, did, he, did, okay. he, he sang it great, but I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was a really safe song that doesn't take a whole lot of talent but to I sing because like most work, of the song you're you, kind of whispering it like. If it was your boyfriend, I'd never let yeah, you go. Yeah, but you work with what you too. got. You have to work with what you've got. And he worked, and he's yeah, not you're right. He worked singer, it. So that's the... Chris, you were going to say something. No, I was going to say, you're absolutely right what you just said. You work with what you got. You know, he would have looked crazy trying to go up there and sing a song that had like a seven octave range. Yeah. So you kind of have to pick what works in your lane. Mm -hmm. And I think, unfortunately, if you look at the music industry now, I mean, there's plenty of people that go up there, have lights, camera action, gotcha. and a medium <laughs> voice. And I think that's what he did. It's like, this is what I'm going to sound good on. If he tried to do something else tonight, he would have sounded crazy. We've so. talked about it was a perfect song for him. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, staying, yeah. staying in your lane. You stay in your Absolutely. lane, and that's his his lane yeah. is the Latino. And I mean, what what was he in the iTunes charts last yeah, week? Number five on the Latino or the Latin? What do they call it? <laughs> the, the Latin charts. The Latin the Latin charts, Latin yeah. charts. So uh, <laughs> sorry, JC. Why? <laughs> Ahora en español. Okay. Now the third song. I'm sorry, and I hate to say because I'm the ro I'm the roast. I'm Switzerland. I tend to be the roast tinted glasses guy, but. I was underwhelmed on the third song by Carlito. Mm -hmm. I don't. And it was the one. This is your moment, and I, I'm I'm afraid for him because of that song. I just I didn't feel like Mark Anthony has this ferocity when he's on stage, and he's he just lets it out. And this could be Carlito's last song. I would just left it all on the floor. Just mm -hmm. I don't I don't even care if he would have been pitchy. I'm sure I would have knocked him on it, but just that he went for it. And you never know what surprises would be would come your way, you know? Just leave yeah. it there. And I just felt he just healed back a little bit. And you know what, though, for me, I, I agree, and they always talk about how much of a hard worker he is. He, like, seems, obviously, he said he's a nice guy. But, um, and I believe he's a hard worker, and I could see it while he's performing, though. He doesn't, like, ever enjoy it for mm -hmm. me. He's not, like, he doesn't get rid of that. I could just see him, like, working hard, like, doing the moves. Is it the pressure? You know what, though? I don't, I'm not familiar with the original song, so that might... Hints my view. What? I don't know why I'm turning positive all of a sudden. <laughs> Steven, but give us a little thought, Mark Anthony. I thought he stepped it up tonight. And I thought even this performance, there was there's obvious there's always gonna be a couple vocal issues with him, but I was entertained. Okay. I, I, wish, know. I just wish he like I wish his third song was something in the same vein as the first two. Just I wish he just kinda like slowed it down a little bit. Because like you were saying, the X Factor is different into the into the fact where they give you like this whole Performance and production and background singers and fireworks. All you have to do is get up there and and fill that that spot but of do singing the he, song. Do you think he could and slow it down? I think he could because he he did in the second song. And but in to that respect of having that whole production behind you, I don't I I think he didn't fill that spot correctly for me. I thought it was I thought it was a little underwhelming the last mm -hmm. song. I can tell you, you probably did Mark Anthony because he's told us all season that that's his favorite artist. So oh, I think wow. yeah, Mark Anthony's is absolute. I mean, anytime we've asked him that question, it's, people always ask that question. He's like Mark Anthony, Mark Anthony. So I'm sure it was kind of like this is my last song I'm going to do until the finals. I want to sing my favorite artist. But I agree with you. I mean, it kind of felt like everything going on behind him was so big, and it was kind of like he wasn't big enough for that. Yeah. But I can say in the battle though, I mean, I was surprised because I felt he held his own. So I definitely well, thought well, he did. Go, I was let's surprised. Let's go into the battle because we, we're, we're finishing up with Carlito yeah. and going into Alex and Sierra, but let's bridge it by talking about their battle. 
which was a surprising battle to me because I very much thought he held his own. Yeah, and I agree. I, and I thought it was an uphill battle with him because that song was tailor made for Alex and Sierra. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For Alex and Sierra alone, though, I'm sorry, but the, I was so weirded out by the three person arrangement and then like, them <laughs> singing together verse yeah. one. Mm -hmm. It was too weird for me well, to even like see who would be better or because that song's supposed to be so intimate. Yeah, and they almost like had to make it a battle. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I thought that made the song uncomfortable. I think again, Carlito stepped it up. I thought Alex was the loser in the battle, mm. and Sierra won, Carlito middle. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's no surprise, like, I, I want Alex and Sierra to win this, like, I love them, and I thought that, I thought that Carlito really did steal that second song. I was, I was a little nervous, actually. I thought Alex and Sierra were going to destroy him. I felt so nervous. Yes. I was like, why would you put him against Alex and Sierra? And then I was shocked. I was, yeah. Like, I think everybody was kind of just, like, looking like this, and then when he kind of, we are like, whoa, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, yeah, absolutely. But I think, I think, speaking of Sierra, I think she blew it away tonight. I was so shocked because they keep trying to push her as like she's never sang before. She's so, you know, yeah. nervous and she she absolutely did well. She yeah, did. I was surprised. So it did translate live. What we were what we saw on the TV, so live it was she was killing it as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I was wondering that about Carlito though. Watching it, I think I would guess that his performances are really wonderful live. Yeah, and, and especially what they do for him. They do a very flashy, very dancey and stuff. So watching it, it's much more interesting. Cause exciting. I think when you watch on TV, I've noticed, like when I watch a backside DVR, it's like, you know, if they're just standing there singing, it's so interesting on TV because they have the cameras. But when you're in the audience, it's like you just literally just see somebody standing there singing in front of a mic. Yeah. So a performance like his last performance tonight was so interesting visually. Whereas, you know, somebody just standing there kind of singing, you're a little like, oh, okay, do something, you know? Yeah, 100%. Right. Well, and mm -hmm. I feel like X Factor is for tweens. And so tweens watching don't care about somebody standing there with the mic. Well, do you, find, do you find yourself like looking at the monitors though? Because I feel like they're kind yeah. of they're cutting back and forth on the monitors right behind them. Yeah, and they have I I think you see it on the TV those big TV screen yeah. things, <laughs> and I kind of watch that and stuff. But yeah, I mean, I, I think that um, you can still do like the slower thing, like with Alex and Sarah last week, with um, them in front of the piano and the the candles and stuff was interesting. But some of the performances, especially that week where they had the mistake with voting and everybody just sang their safe song. I mean, watching it in the audience was the most boring thing ever because they just walked out to the X sang, walked off, walked oh. out, and then you watch it back on TV and it's the cameras and the lights mm -hmm. and the dun dun. So, so it's the production. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so Nick, I'm throwing this to you because you've been on Alex and Sierra's bandwagon since you saw it. Since the audition. And it's pain. Uh, is, it, is this their competition to lose? N nah, they've got this. They've oh. got they, well, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> they, they look. They, they've got. I think they've got the most. I think they have. Um, I think the most pressures on them right now. I think that they've got. I, I feel like they can totally win this, and I think a lot of. I think the other three groups were. They can see that they've really come out of nowhere. They've kind of were like the dark horse in this competition. Alex and, and Sierra. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like the three other, gr um, you know, competitors, the groups and uh, Carlito. Um, they, they, you know, they just went for the jugular, you know. And the reason I'm asking is because you kept saying they should sing a specific song all season long. I said they should sing that song of Monsters and Men, and they sang it. And, and you know what? It. They're I watching. Didn't, I did not think they'd be able to pull that off at the beginning of the competition, but they've grown so much. Yes. Like I would never have said, "Oh, Sierra is an amazing singer," but after tonight, I was like, "Oh my god!" Like I didn't know she could belt like that. And not only that, watching her first performance, she was so uncomfortable. She was yeah. looking at Alex, and now she sells the song mm -hmm. so well. I will say, I don't know what Alex does with his mouth, <laughs> <laughs> but we gotta fix that. <laughs> and I oh. like him better with a guitar. I told you, even John Mayer looks weird when he sings. Yeah, true. his hand in his pocket. I was like, give me that like stage presence, because he's so confident. But I he's think got he's some like, I want to see. He's it. like the white guy with the guitar which is fine. I think they need to let him play. But I just wish that he they dressed him up a little bit more only because Sierra is in these like beautiful yeah. tight dresses mm -hmm. and they just look a little a odd. A little too much. Little, uh, go ahead. Well, I'll ladies. tell you, we were talking to Dean who does all the hair for the show and because she's the only girl left, he literally goes in on oh. her because she's the last girl left. So he's always making her up and then all the guys are always kind of down. So I think you see it more dramatically when it's the <laughs> two of them together because yeah. here he is. You know, he likes Jason Mraz and stuff. So yeah. he wants to be that guy with the guitar and uh -huh. the funny face and then she's over there looking like a like a diva, diva. with the hair yeah. and the outfit. So I think you see it so much more compared to the two of them. Yeah. And, I'll, oh, go no, ahead, sorry. Please. No, oh, I was just gonna say we've noticed in the the packages this evening they were very they get that sad music and we, we're like oh my gosh more sad sad sad. But with Alex and Sierra it wasn't as 
sad, you could say. Yeah. That, yeah. And is that just to their characters of, like you said, that they put them in certain roles, but what are they really like? Are they different from what we see on TV? No, um, I've been lucky enough to hang out with them like at the Grove and stuff, and both of them, what you see is what you get. Like, they don't fight. They're, it's not like they really secretly hate each other and the cameras <laughs> are on. It. They're like, hey! I love and that. their role is really like that, the relationship. It's kind of like, you know, she kind of like looks to and stuff, but I mean, I don't know if you guys knew, but she's like a trained dancer. That's her thing. Mm -hmm. And so oh, wow. she's such a confident dancer she's been dancing her whole life and so singing was never her thing but then you know she met him and then they kind of sang together wow. and then they did the show it's like so a romantic I think comedy people, yeah exactly but it's real you know like off camera that's who they are too they don't put on an act at all and I think that's why I love them because like that watching them like they're in love and that relationship on stage is just like innately fascinating you can find yeah. that too Jeff and I'm crying. <laughs> um, also, we've given props to Sierra the last couple weeks. The first two songs, she like us out of the part. Alex sounded phenomenal in that yeah, last song. Sarah, oh my say, God. Gravity. That was yeah. Alex's best performance Absolutely. of the competition. His voice is so clear and open and just like beautiful. But I feel yeah. like Simon now knows the sound they need to be making. And up until last week, I don't think they were singing the right songs. I agree. And now, like all their songs tonight were perfect. Last so, week too, yeah. yeah. Whether they win or lose, they definitely have a future. Yeah. Well, oh, they've already course. charted number one on iTunes. So yeah. 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 Simon's gonna pick them up, but yeah. if not, somebody else will. And kind of like t piggybacking off that, like I feel like they're one of the only people in this competition where it's like they're so genuine and so organic and so good that I feel like you know they can look at each other and be like, look, if we don't win this thing, at least we still have each other. We had a great time, <laughs> and let's just see, Aww. let's see what happens afterwards. I feel, I, I seriously think they would have an amazing. You know, career after this, regardless yeah. of winning or not. And I, but I also feel like they're one of the only people in the competition that knows exactly what their style is and they know, you know what their strengths are. I feel like everyone's still kind of, you know, playing, uh, experimenting with, with things. And a lot of them have worked out as we saw tonight, but it's only come up until this point that they've kind of figured it out. See, I feel like everybody has a very distinct sound. Carlito's Latin, Jeff is the rocker, Restless Road is country, Alex and Sierra are like folky acoustic. I feel like everybody has a sound. I just feel like they're the best at it. And mm -hmm. also, they're they've become such wonderful perform yeah. wonderful performers. <laughs> um, their last performance of Gravity, I thought, was just like mem mesmerizing yeah. to watch. Yeah, and I think what what you were saying is absolutely true. I think that Carlito is still trying to find a sound, and I think Jeff. I, I agree with Simon in the sense that Jeff sometimes seems like, oh, I'm a rocker. I have to play this role, and you know, uh, Restless Road just got together. But Alex and Sierra seem like they're it. Like they know what they're mm -hmm. doing. Yeah. It seems organic, and I think that's what why it translated so well last week. It's kind of like if they can find the right song, then it's like, bam. I mean, I don't remember the last time somebody from X Factor hit number one on the main chart. Yeah. I really don't remember that. I don't know. I was surprised. I you, no, because you see the voice every week, it's number one, yeah. number one. And it's like X Factor would always, you know, and then this week, you know, last week it was crazy. So I think. Maybe Fifth Harmony? I don't. Did you, but did not you get a, while they were on there. Did you get a chance to talk to them about that? You know, yeah. What were their thoughts? Well, I don't know if you guys know, but Christina and um, Sad World, is it? Yeah, yes. and uh, Great Big World. Great Big World, sorry. Something with the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> they actually, like, tweeted them and Facebooked them, and, you know, I asked them tonight in our interview, I was just like, you know, you guys were literally above the actual song, and they are as humble as they seem, mm -hmm. and they were just like, we didn't know what to do, and then they're tweeting us, and they're Facebooking us, and we're just sitting there like, oh my God, <laughs> is this real? I mean, it was overwhelming to them, so. I love that. Yeah. They, I mean, I think they were just so excited that the original artists hit them up, and. Seriously. Do yeah. they get a cut of the proceeds when they, like, chart in iTunes from those sales? Ooh. Don't, I don't think so. I think Fox Maybe. owns their soul. Yeah, <laughs> they I, don't start, like I think they don't make money until after. I think <laughs> wow. on, you, you know how these shows work is you get a stipend yeah. and you get money for being on it, but I don't think they're getting... Royalties See, so we none of us really know the answer, but maybe you guys at home do. I forgot to say <laughs> hello to everyone watching us live on <laughs> AfterBuzzTV.com. Hello, but if you're not watching this live, go to YouTube, iTunes, let us know what you think. Try to give us five stars. Please, we need it. Remember, we, we still want to know what you thought about Jeff's sweater last week. <laughs> See, I still remember the sweater last week. I thought week. it was perfect. It was, a, it was a beautiful sweater. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, my God, thank you so much. <laughs> I made it myself. A full edition rag and pubic hair. With all your <laughs> Um, so and if that didn't knock down our reviews, I don't know what <laughs> will. So with that said, let us know what you think. And we started with, I don't know, beautiful verbal bouquets in the beginning of the show. Now we're moving on to our favorite segment, the Restless Road Jeff Goot section, starting with... Oh, boy. I'm going to throw it to Jeff. Okay, let's start with Jeff Goot. <laughs> um, so I have a question. Um, not negative or positive, but do Je um, Jeff Goot's performances on video, like when you watch it after, not live, do they translate as um, the same? 
See, the hard thing is, I'll be dead honest, I don't really like that type of music. Okay. So for me, I just don't enjoy his performances. He's one of my favorite people off camera. Like we, I don't know why, but I always run into him and we have conversations. But um, I just don't like that kind of music. And, and I don't think he's picked the right song yet. Maybe Hallelujah tonight, but... Um, I don't know. Oh, see, I think that he has picked all the right songs, and I still <laughs> just don't love them. <laughs> oh, you're not a fan. No. I remember that now. <laughs> but um, I do. But speaking of him, you talking to him, I don't think he shows personality in like the B-roll no. clips. And no, because he really looks hurts so, him. He's so sad. He loves walking down alleys. <laughs> <laughs> and those gloves, fingerless gloves. That's his thing. Like but homeless chic. Did you? If you watch last season, they did that to Tate. I mean, every week he didn't know what he was going to do with his life, and he was broke, and his <laughs> yeah. kids, and his family and it's like then you would see him off camera he was great and so this we, you know this show they're making him like broke and he has to raise his, his kid yeah. and stuff and so I think it's kind of his thing he's still kind of the same off camera he doesn't definitely get off camera and jump around and hey guys I mean he's still kind of like you know Jeff Goop but all yeah. the contestants <laughs> last just, week told me that he is always sleeping backstage yes <laughs> but like we, you always find him on a couch sleeping I just don't know who he is after watching the show I like, think as he's a, a singer with a lot right of now. vocal tension. He is, he is ah. a reflection, I hate to say this, of, of the hard America? Yeah, the hard times that are going on in the country. He's we're from Detroit. Oh, he's okay, from Detroit. No. We are in LA. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> we're in LA, and it's 59 degrees, and we're freaking out. I know, I'm freaking out. It was well, 40 it's cold, last JC. night. <laughs> it's cold out there. We have just lost all of America <laughs> watching our show. America. No, I'm being serious. He is a, a probably the heartbeat of what's going on in the rest of the country. He is the, the hard times, the pain, and just he's still pushing <laughs> forward. He is. The pain. And, the it, pain. The and pain. we may not identify with his music, but I will say tonight was my favorite night for him. Absolutely. I thought his last song was, I mean, Hallelujah. I wrote great, amazing, probably mm. one of the best songs. I know Jason and ah! I are going to go to. Out. My head imploded. You know what, JC? I think I agree. I See, think this whoa! was his best night for him. I'm not okay. making it up. I wrote Listen it down. Up, I don't <laughs> think you made I'm that. I'm not a big Jeff Goop fan as a musician. That's just who I am. Why not? But <laughs> I think Is tonight right? <laughs> I think tonight was his um, worst performance of the competition. <laughs> he and didn't live to life That's just not being biased. I thought Hallelujah. <laughs> um... <laughs> I can't be this mean. No, okay. Um, I his love falsetto. Aww. His falsetto was weak. I think he's had better weeks with that. It was it was under pitch the whole time. Um, we get to his second song. Why did he have a southern accent? <laughs> he's from Detroit. <laughs> I don't know. Because um, it's working for I think you can't road. take a song that current and date it. Are we talking about uh, demons? Though, demons. Right? Yeah. Okay. This I'll is agree. such a top forty hit. He made it sound like a early '90s yeah. rock anthem, which is. I mean, I guess that's kind of his thing, but I. I think he seemed really unrelevant tonight. Is I'm, unrelevant I'm, a word? I'm going with I'm going with Jason over here too. Like it's obviously not a secret. I just don't enjoy him either. Um, okay, Hallelujah. <laughs> he's we're, done. Hey, he's like, I'm we are sure up. we are sure he's a nice person. I'm sure he's a wonderful human but being. But when you're on one of these but, shows, you open yourself up to be judged. Look, and and, and, and here we know, are. And honestly, for me, like he sang Hallelujah for his audition last season. Yeah. And I actually thought he killed it when he sang it for his audition. So I was like, oh, he this is his bread and butter. This is like the heart of America. This is that's the heart of America song right there. Everyone yeah. can relate to Hallelujah. Come on now. Hallelujah. And, uh, hallelujah. <laughs> but but seriously, after hearing him sing, I was like. Like, whoa, that, I mean, his audition was so much better than his performance. And it's such a performance when he's up there. Like, I why know. do you have to start on your knees? No pressure. His Hold performances on. kill me because he doesn't look like he's having fun. He says he loves Chris, singing. He can't die without do it. Do they have he choreographers? Yeah. He needs to drop your choreographer, Jeff. Because <laughs> it's not fair to who he is as an artist. It's, it's corny. He's, they're taking this song and they're you, making it so Are you theatrical. talking about the squats when he does the squats? Yeah, the when squats, he's but starting on your knees. No, he's doing lunges. And, and he's also, he <laughs> looks on the ground or closes his eyes when he's performing. You can't connect with that in the audience. <clears throat> you know, I will say, though, I'm... Type because like I said, I was honest with you. His, yeah. his music isn't the kind of that I would sure. buy. But I mean, he's number one on the rock chart. So I, I'm surprised because I think obviously there's a fan base for yeah. him. Just like Tate last season. I was so surprised. Every week he was taught. I was like, who's voting for him? So he, I think he, you know, there's a lot of people that feel like their dreams have passed. And so that's him. And they see that in him. And. I don't know. I mean, I, I think he would be great, like, in front of a band. I think That's if he did, like, I Daughtry, think. Hmm. I think he'd be, like, great. Hmm. I, I can't I, see him being solo. Who was though. your pick last, last season? Was it Carly Rose? No, I was Team 
Fifth Harmony for sure. Oh, okay. That's Carly okay. Rose was amazing, but I'm like, you're 13 singing my grandma's songs. I need you to <laughs> sing songs like JoJo or something. Come yeah, on. Like, okay, I, I was just here too young for this. But I, I mean, I, I think Jeff, obviously, I, I agree with most of you guys. I don't see it. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. I even told him one week, I'm like, stop smoking. I don't get it. But <laughs> he, um, my, number one on the rock charts, he's, anyway, he's wow. hitting somebody. I talk to my parents about this all the time because my, my parents Aww. watch the show too. My mom loves Jeff Goot. I don't get it. Older people love I him. I don't get it. <laughs> older people love him. All the older people my that, that watch it that are 40 and up, they're like, we love Jeff. And I'm like, oh. Is target, it because they lost their demo. hearing by then? <laughs> his target Aww. demo is chain smokers and trailers. They're like, his neck is the same color as mine. I love him. <laughs> I thought about Chris Daughtry tonight, too, because Kelly said, we need you in the industry. There's nothing like you. Chris Daughtry's in it. But Chris Daughtry has an incredible voice. Yes, he does. Yeah. yeah. And I, don't, I, I think I agree with you, though. He should be in front of a band, and I think he would yeah. look a lot more comfortable on stage. Because they're they're trying to make him into Adam Lambert. Yeah, and you've been saying that for yeah. weeks. You've been saying. I just want to see him look like he's having fun. Mm -hmm. But he's, he's not like that. I mean, he I doesn't mean, even seem like that in the interviews or off camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just doesn't seem like he's having fun ever. Will, will you pass him a note for us? Yes. And, what is it? And ask him if he's cold when he wanders down those alleys. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. To have fun, we were gonna say like a oh, message yeah. of encouragement. But, I mean, <laughs> even if his music Terrible. was, even if even if he had like the best performance or the best you know song vocally, it would still drive me crazy. Just like the performance that it is. Like, does I mean, it's just so. It's I don't know it. Uh, does do you feel? How do you feel about that? I agree that? with like, you guys. I mean, I I don't think he ever looks like he's having fun. Yeah. <laughs> it, the only time I see him having fun is like if in our interview. I try to make him yeah. joke and stuff. But yeah, I mean, he's just not somebody that's gonna be like warm and loving. I mean, like Alex and Sierra, it just comes yeah. off of him and uh -huh. it doesn't with him. But for some reason, it resonates with. Hmm. Middle America and an older group, Ugh. and I feel like there are still some of them that watch the show. They put Tate to win last season, yeah. and they seem to yeah. put them through this season. So, yeah. I just can't think that I'm alone in America wanting to watch people on stage who are having fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I could like care a lot about vocal technique, and his throat <laughs> is gonna <laughs> pop off. <laughs> it's not good. It was strawberry red tonight. Yeah. Well, here's like, the thing. If, that, if your throat is that red when you're done singing, you're you're not doing something. There's something's wrong. Obviously, we we're never gonna get through the Jeff Goot saga Maybe. all season. Jeff, he's I'm been sure our hot topic. Maybe just I, I know. He's kind of, you know, before we move on, I just want to compliment Chris and say that you are wonderfully politically correct. I know. Well, and that is, is so nice. We can all learn from you. But you know what? This is the thing. It's so hard. I was talking about it to to somebody la tonight. It's like when I watch show. I'm just like you guys. If I watch a show that I don't interview the people, I'm terrible. I'm like, this person <laughs> sucks. Kill them. Get them off. I'm like, I want them dead. I don't want them kicked off the show. I want sure. them erased. Oh, I like you. But, um, I've never said but, that. But but then watching. when you interview them, and I know I have to see them tomorrow and next week, I'm like, if they watch this, I don't want to see them next week, and they're like, F you. So I'm, hey, I'm not trying to be PC. Yeah. I mean, I'm still a very yeah, honest person. Course. It's just, yeah, but I'm like you guys, man. If I watch a show and I, I don't interview them, I want them dead. I want them destroyed. I don't want them near the industry. I want them on an island. But when I'm interviewing them, it's like I see them as people. So yeah. I'm like, okay, I, Jeff is still a human being, but I, I agree. He, to really make an industry, he's going to have to front a band. He's going to have to take some vocal lessons. Mm -hmm. He's going to have to see seem like he has a personality and do media training to make it. I don't think Chris, he's at I never that point. Knew, I've known you now for like close to a year and I never knew this side to you. <laughs> I'm in shock. Wow. We Thank bring you, out Jeff. the best of him. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. See, this is his there problem. He brings the worst up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was my so trick nice at the interview. interview. <laughs> You're great like that. <laughs> With that said, bringing the best and the worst. Here we go. Restless, Restless Road. Road. <laughs> okay, what did we think? We've been all over the board with these guys all season. No, we haven't. <laughs> Not, we, we haven't. <laughs> okay, I will agree with what you just said because after meeting them last week, I think I was so much nicer watching them because I'm like, oh, they were so cool. Yeah. Like, I peed next to Carlito or like, like that was fun. They're all nice. They did a really nice Can job with that? Wanted yeah. to say something nice to kick good, off the yeah. conversation. Oh, That's the kind of song they'll make. I that thought it was fantastic. Wanted, I felt like I was watching a CMA award performance. Yeah. I thought Colton's, that was the best Colton's Vocally, ever sounded. Vocally, all of them. I thought... Up until Zach, I like Zach when he sings higher. I think when he goes mm -hmm. lower is when it gets a little messy. But when he sings higher, he sounds really good. And I thought Wanted, they looked the most like a band. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. And tonight in the all black, they looked yeah. good too. They didn't dress some kind of cheesy country tonight. I mean, it, they looked a little better. Uh oh, Nick's think, gonna be the voice of reason here. Well, I don't know if it's reasonable, but I, I, I mean, I thought the Wanted was a was a perfect song for them. And I thought they actually sounded pretty good doing it. Um, <laughs> that was there's not no winning you over. Very but, convincing. <laughs> but as far as looking good, like, look, okay, this is this is the thing. Every time they were up there, 
Demi or two judges. It would be like Demi and Simon or, some, or Demi and someone else. They would always say, you look the part. That's the thing. They look the part, but they aren't. They, 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 that's all that there is, I feel like. I feel like they just look the part and they're, it's, they're really forcing it. But and, don't you think they're growing? Um, yeah, because they were thrown together. You got to give them. Zach that. is so tall. And <laughs> yeah, no, no, he's Zach, super tall in real life. Feeding, he's like stop, super tall. Stop feeding no, the Zach vegetables. has grown a lot this season. He used to he look used to so five foot two, and now he's six five. He was a legal oh midget when he auditioned. No, seriously, yeah. he looked used to look so uncomfortable in his little t-shirt on stage. Yeah. Now he's in into winning. They got the sex appeal now. Their voices are getting better. Like, uh, no, but at, tonight <laughs> that was sex appeal. And okay, wanted. real talk, Chris. Do they make Colton have a stubble? He likes it. He talked. They were they were saying that he takes the longest to get ready in the morning because he literally like takes his trimmer and trims it perfectly. He likes it. That's his brand. That's his the beard, fear of the beard. That must be. After you know Buzz what? exclusive. Do you guys know Florida Georgia Line? Yeah, the band? of course. That's the kind of music they need to sing. Yeah. High, young, high energy music. I don't want to see them sing these ballads anymore. But I thought Hunter Hayes' song was actually brilliant. Yes. Ah, that was great. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, you're you're a god. You're like a demi. What, what do they call them? Demigods. Yeah. You know, <laughs> levotic. You're you're a levotic, and she. She was the she was the one that was like she was the only voice of reason for me saying that it, it wasn't where it needs to be at this point in the competition. That was for the first, first song. song, which the I first agree. Song? The first song was bad. Yeah, yes. I agree on the it first. It was straight song. up bad. It was a theme park performance. Yeah, I didn't get it because I, I yeah. They, they did the worst. The so first I think we round. all agree. We I, all the shaky vocals. I just well, they need like. Jeff Goop gets all this choreography. They need somebody to say, okay, don't do this with your hand. <laughs> don't do this with your hand. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they need somebody to teach them that so they can look more like a band, and I think you would buy it more. Because Simon, we all know, plays the backing tracks way up high. Mm -hmm. And so if they could at least teach them to look more like a band, I think that would help. But I, th I mean... It I don't know. I was going to say the biggest thing that I have a problem with them is because they're funny, they're goofy, and then they go on stage and they're boring to me. And I think that um, the problem that I've seen with them all season is they're so safe and it's so boring. And it's like, you know, they're, they're all young. They're like cool guys. And I'm like, I, I know country isn't the most, um, you know, they're not going to do a Lady Gaga performance, but it's like, I would just like to see energy and youth and crazy yeah. something because every time I see them up there, it's the three of them standing there and the three of them singing and they'll do like, Zach will do a low thing and get some cheers. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's yeah. kind of gotten played it's out. It's the same exact yeah. Yeah. And that's why I, I honestly, you know, don't know. I mean, we'll probably talk at the end who we think is going to go home, but I almost wouldn't be surprised if they didn't win like I thought they might at the beginning. Right. I thought three good looking country guys, the girls are going to go crazy and it hasn't done that and yeah. I think it's because of their performances. I agree. I think the charm has worn off of like what they are. Mm -hmm. Maybe they need like Emblem 3 to mentor them to get a little crazy. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean at least last season like Emblem 3, it's like they, you know, love them or hate them. It's like you knew that who they were, you knew what kind of guys they were and you were like watching their performance and we're like even if you don't like the music you're like I want to party with them but yeah. Yeah, those they came three out guys guns blazing like, every yeah. time. Well when you see Restless Road in their like interviews and behind the scenes stuff they look like so much fun and yeah, when they absolutely. get on stage they do kind of freeze up. Yeah. And I think that's why Wanted was so good, is because all you have to do for a ballad is sit there and sing. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So that's what they're good at. But when they do these fast songs, they need to own it and bring their personality to the stage, because I think they have personality. Do you guys remember what song was it where they actually showed that personality? I forget what song it was, but they even had like dancers and stuff, and they were like, Ugh. they were like much more like moving around. It was the first time was the all 80s season. Week? I think the only I feel like was JC it the know. He's like JC's like song. the encyclopedia of like um, performances. Is performances. That was big band week. It was either big was band 80s. or eighties, but it was no, like, not big band week. Footloose That's they had him in suits. was it Footloose. Oh, maybe. Maybe that was it. I, I can't remember, but it was it was the first time that I saw them like smiling, laughing, moving, and I'm like, oh my god, they didn't just put the three of them there with a light on yeah. them and have them sing. So I think it was the one time it was interesting. <clears throat> well, and I said this last week, if you watch One Direction on stage, they like have this weird flirty thing they do with each other, and they're like funny, and they, like yeah. that's how they are on and off stage. Yeah. And yeah. restless. Exactly. This is exactly what happened last, last time we said that. Yeah, we just, it's about chemistry and just, just relax and having fun. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> well, I'd like my hand I back mean, now. Don't leave I know me. you're joking, but they have no chemistry. Yeah. Okay, so let me move on because I know we're running out of time. So I want to move on to the Battle of the Mellows. Who won the battle between Jeff Goot and Restless Road? What's it called when people tie? A tie? <laughs> <laughs> What's it, what's it called when you both like, lose? Like, let's say that Aww. the game got rained out. <laughs> okay, they were singing two different genres of music. Yeah. They were singing the country version, he was doing the rock and roll, and it was the one song. It didn't work. What song was it again? It, it was, was um, Every Breath You Take by the Police. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. that was a dumb song. Which is perfect for Whoever Jeff. Whoever picked that. 
Um, it seemed more in Jeffrey's Jeff's advantage, but <sighs> I was bored. By Me too. It. I, I my <laughs> mind just went no. I, I think my mind just skipped that part when I was watching the show. Well, I, I do have to say, I think of both of them, I was more entertained by Restless Road, but I will say that that was probably the lo- like the lowest point of oh the Oh my show. gosh! Well, and I think we this disagree. Was, really? Yay, let's <laughs> fight. <laughs> I feel like this is part of X Factor, because X Factor's viewers are down this season, and I feel like it's because <clears throat> they're not trying to be X Factor. Now they're like, hey, the voice is doing really good, let's throw in a battle round. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it, like. Like it's so random and it makes no sense. Yeah, because like, why would you? Why would you ever pair somebody like Carlito against Alex and Sierra? That's never gonna happen no. in the real world. You know what I mean? Aside from Alex and Sierra, who we all love, was there a performance tonight? Like, let's say Fifth Harmony. I still remember their semifinal performance from the last uh, season. That Golding. was amazing. The yes. Ellie Golding, yeah. That was when I that's started they, to love Fifth Harmony. <laughs> well, that's what, literally everyone thought they were going to get fourth, and Emblem was going to make it to the finals, and it was that performance that made him go to the finals because there was no denying it after yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Did we have those moments tonight? If, or are they too busy trying to be other shows still? Like you said, the battle rounds with the voice. Just be, be the X Factor. Yeah. I think the battle round is a complete wash. I think no one's going to base their, their oh, vote off of like, what happened during that Well, and round. then they tried to do that weird thing last week, too, where, like, they all sing. Or when was that? You know what I mean? Oh, where they each had, like, one line. Yeah. And, like, it was just yeah, random. Yeah. That, that didn't work either. Yeah, Lily had, like, three words. Yeah, yeah, and then they were like, Lily didn't bring it, and she's like, I had three words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I, yeah. No, I mean, I, I think the battle round, nobody's going to be like, man, I was going for Carlito. Yeah. Was restless Road in the battle round. I mean, I don't even consider that battle round. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was exactly. just kind of pointless. Unnecessary. I, I think it was just show filler, because like, they had two hours. Lovato sing. <laughs> I mean, I, just, I don't think I Demi's going to sing again on the show. I thought this episode was exciting, though, because Carlito came up and Restless Row kind of stayed at the same place, which you can't do at this level. So, and you know what? Props to Carlito. I mm-hmm. don't know if he's going to make it or not, but at least he came and he brought it. Yeah. And Alex and Sierra did, too. I don't think Jeff or Restless... I guess Restless wrote on their second performance, but Jeff especially, I don't think he came to it like wanting to win as bad as like tonight. I was gonna save it for predictions, but I oh. think once Sorry. Jeff, no, when Jeff finished his song, go back. You watch. You you watch these performances at home, Chris. Watch. Look at his face right as he finishes that song. He looked defeated, like for like a glimpse of just for a fraction of a second. I, and the fact that everyone praised him, I think deep down inside, he thought he didn't deliver. He what he said. You're talking about Hallelujah, right? What, no, no, no. Oh. On the on the his final song. Oh, tonight. the final song. Yeah, when he just the Verizon he, commercial. Yeah, yeah. He he <laughs> dropped his head down. Like, yeah. And I just thought he, he knew That's he didn't his deliver. resting face. Who's dressing him too? Uh, he no. You know, it's so funny you say that. He was so excited to wear that jacket. Really? That's what he said. He wanted to wear it all season. He was excited to wear it. Like, <laughs> it reminds me. Jacket. Doesn't it remind what you of like a wearing? '90s motorcycle rider? Of course. <laughs> But yes. to answer your question, I think that nobody, it wasn't like last week where somebody had a standout performance for me, but I think, like, agreeing with both of you guys, Carlito stood out for the simple fact that I think everyone kind of counted him out and mm-hmm. were like, you know, okay, put him next. And because he brought it, you kind of are like, whoa, okay, maybe he came to play. Yeah. 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 So any final thoughts, Nick, before we move on to our spotlight of Chris Tronson? Um, As far as what? Final thoughts? Just, just final thoughts of the episode, just wrapping it up. Our overall thoughts before we say goodbye to this episode. Overall thoughts? I, yeah, you know, I'm Tell the truth, I thought Car- Carlito brought it. I think instead of getting eliminated right away, he'll get eliminated after that part. And um, I still think Alex and Sierra is the most consistent out of everybody. And I think they're going to win it. But I, we're, let's save that for predictions. Okay, Forget, I said right. that. Forget I said that. All right. <laughs> so you like Rest of this Road, right? <laughs> no. Who? Rest this road. Uh, we'll, we'll tell you later. So, no. First off, Chris, thank you so much. You've done. Thank you guys I, for having me here. Thank no, you. No, no, and we had you for Idol, and that's how we, that's how we met, actually. Yeah. And now, tell us what you do with Pacific uh, Pacific Rim videos and front row features. Yeah, I mean, we've been covering all the Fox shows. So we do American Idol, then we do So You Think You Could Dance, and then we obviously do X Factor. Um, we cover red carpets. We are on six different networks in the U.S. Uh, one overseas, two in the Philippines. So. You know, we just cover these shows, and I think we did X Factor because I like the show. I mean, I know it's, the ratings are kind of going down, and I think last season obviously was a better season, but, you know. I okay, like so show. you're in agreement. Okay, because we, we always felt like we, we feel like we're the bash factor. No, the- last season, I mean, and I always can tell by the, the reaction that I get on Twitter and Instagram and stuff, but, I mean, last season I was, like, hounded because people love Emblem 3 and Carly Rose and Fifth Harmony and stuff, and there's... I think Alex and Sarah might be the only ones that kind of captured that. Um, but I didn't hear you guys talk about. Do you guys talk about the judges? Or you kind of stay? We can. We can do. Yeah. Yeah. talk about them. What, I hate the crying, you guys. Yeah. You like the crying. Well, I, I like when Demi cries, I cry, but I don't like when <laughs> <the> house cries. <laughs> 
Uh, what do you guys think of Kelly? I think her wigs are the best performance. <laughs> do you know what? I wish, and I know I just said X Factor shouldn't try to be the voice, but I wish X Factor would show more of the mentoring session. Because that's like my favorite part. I love seeing them work with it and seeing mm -hmm. them grow. And I feel like Kelly's probably a really good judge the, in that. The problem is, um, I don't know if the, I'm not supposed to say this, but um, the problem is they literally only get 15 minutes for two days with them. And I think that's the oh, problem. I think yeah. people think they get like six months with them, but it's not really that much time. They kind of watch it, and um, which could be a good or bad thing. Yeah. I mean, it kind of shows you that this is the artist. They don't need someone to hold their hand. But I agree with you. But I, I think... Um, I don't know. I think that the crying. What do you guys think of Paulina? Yeah, that was oh my, my I was going to ask you that. I was going to say, Paulina, crazy, not crazy. Go. She's what you see on the show. She's even worse backstage. <gasps> I don't understand her. I don't know if she's drunk or can't understand me or speak really? English. Oh like, <gasps> I think she's drinking the Paula Abdul juice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. I think they should. She, yeah, oh, like, they, they, they should be. You should be able to vote a judge off, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, because I feel like I don't think Demi's going anywhere because they have such a huge tween audience. Yeah, yeah. So for sure, be back. I don't. I like Kelly Rowland, but I feel like they should bring in somebody with a bigger name and just have it be like a three judge thing. Can I like Kelly, and I'm consistently impressed by Demi's feedback. I think she gets very like straight to the matter. Who's your favorite? Um, I think of all of them, Simon and Demi have to stay. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. I'm disappointed in Kelly because uh, if you watch the UK version, she's a little bit more sassy. I guess I don't know uh -huh. the word. I think you know her and uh, Paulina was just, no, but I think Kelly mm. was just kind of vanilla. Unfortunately, yeah. I feel like if she just didn't show up next week, nobody would say anything. They'd just yeah. be like, I think there was somebody else. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I feel like no. Simon this season, though, I used to always agree with Simon. And this season, like, the uh, things yeah. he says, like, he's like, that was he's one of the best the performances. Same. And you're like, that was Jeff Goot. <laughs> <laughs> I think what? especially if it's one of his groups, it's oh, like, yeah. even if it's bad, he's like... That was amazing. That was your best. Like, like, they shouldn't let their own real. coach talk. Yeah. Well, I know we, we, we're short on time, but we do got to cover why we have you here every week because you yeah. kicked butt on the red carpet yes. before. So set up the, the clip that you got for us. For yeah, so we always try to find something fun to kind of get them to do, and I always, like, look through the questions and stuff, and tonight I thought it was really interesting. What would it be like if they um, all had... A identical twin, and what would they want to do with our identical twins? And I know you only get 30 seconds, but Restless Road had the best answer. Nice. So. Well, Steven, you got the clip for us? Our After Buzz uh, question of the night is, if you, had, if you had an identical twin, what would their name be, and what would the first thing you would want to do with your identical twin? And I think we would go and like play pranks on people. What would the name be? What do you think your brother's name would be? Carlito. Carlito? Yeah. We just mess up with him. Yeah, but you know, hey, this is Carlito. No, this is Carlito. All right, so his name would be Ty, because that was supposed to be my name, and I love that name. And we would start a band. I think we would travel the world because we would be really excited. There's Take like a picture. I want to fight. Take my... a selfie. Take a selfie with your <laughs> selfie. I want to fight myself. Fight to see it. which one would win. Because <laughs> he's Random. a personality. Yeah, right? absolutely. And I think that's the one thing that I don't like. You know, you guys were talking about the packages, how it's so depressing and stuff. It's like you know, you see these interviews, not only my interviews with them, but other people's interviews, and they're such fun people. And last week they were, you know, imitating other people, and uh, yeah. they jump in each other's interviews, and then you see the packages, and you think every week somebody's going to die or something. So I wish they showed the personalities more, because they do find contestants with good personalities. Did Jeff Goot leave his in the alley, his twin? <laughs> All right, <laughs> settle. <laughs> <laughs> We're already getting sure. the hook, but we, we got to do quickly is, predictions. This is our last week predictions, guys. Who's going home? Jeff Coop. Well, everyone's going home, right? Besides one person. Restless Road. We have one more week. We, we got have one more week. Oh. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> who's, going, who's going home tomorrow night? Uh, oh, oh man. Four to three. Okay, well, good. Jeff. Restless Rise. <laughs> you think? Restless Road? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, who do you think, and this is a tough one, because you talk to these people every week, who's going home? I, I have to be honest, I think they're going to send Carlito home. Uh, I, think, uh, I, don't I don't want that, but I, I think so. I think Jeff is going to make it. I don't know why, but I think they're going to have him America. through. You can't take away Alex and Sierra, and I just don't see Simon letting them send Restless I Road think, home. Uh, I don't know. I think Restless Road is going to go, but I also don't think they're going to go. That's, I, how, I, that's I want me. Them to go. Yeah. I All think they right. might go to shock. They might, okay, we got to go, guys. We're wrapping it up, and I think Restless Road in an upset is going to stay, and Carlito's going home. So with that said, <laughs> Round of applause to everyone for Chris. Right. Thank you guys Thank so much you. for having me. You Chris, where can they find you? <laughs> where can we find Front Row Features? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're covering every week. You can watch us. We have a show that airs in Los Angeles Wednesday, Channel 18 okay. at 4 o'clock. Or uh, follow me on Twitter, and I tweet out the links and, and What's stuff. your handle? Just at Chris Tronson. And Jeffrey, yours? Uh, at JeffMasters1. Uh, at the Nick Collins. 
at Jason Eichler. And Steven, thank you. We're out of we're out of your face. Sorry. And thank you very much, Chris Tronsden. So for Jeff, Jason, Nick, Chris, I'm JC. We're your after buzz after show. Good night. Bye. <laughs> thank Later. You. Thank, thank you, you guys so, so much. much. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz. Buzz. Later. 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 Pause you later. <laughs> Thank you for watching After Buzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here. And be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of After Buzz TV or its owners or principals.